हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एकता साइंस एजुकेशन क्लास राइट वे राइट लर्निंग इज द मोटो ऑफ दिस क्लास यस नाउ स्टूडेंट वी हैव स्टार्टेड द एन क्लास सीरीज देयर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वन बाय वन ईच एंड एवरी चैप्टर ऑफ द एन क्लास सेवन बुक्स लेसन Yes the very first lesson is nutrition in the plants as we know the nutrition is very important to the living beings to the living creature we eat food to get the energy we eat the food to get energy so plants also need the nutrition for the development and growth so essential thing is to take the nutrition we know that as a nutrients we are taking the components of the food the components are food our carbohydrate protein vitamin fats minerals are all considered as a components of the food these components are said to be the nutrients and are very very essential for the growth and development of the body whether it is of plants or of animals as we know as we know plants are our friends why because plants gives us oxygen and we give them carbon dioxide so mutual understanding and mutual sharing make the friends trees are our best friend with the mutual understanding and the mutual sharing of the two gases that is carbon dioxide and oxygen so plants are said to be the friends of the human beings okay now next is that the types of the organism we know that there are types of organism depending on the types of the um, they prepare their food on the basis of the preparation of the food the organisms are class classified into the two types first the autotrophic the auto means self and tropos means nourishment or the things or the organism that can prepare their own food are said to be the autotrophic creatures or organism the organism they can prepare their own food material with the help of their body system are said to be the autotrophs so all the plants are said to be autotrophs all plants they prepare their own food material so all plants are autotrophs while as heterotrophs or hetero means other and trophos means nourishment the animals or organism that are not they are not able to prepare their own food material they are depend for the food on other creatures so they are heterotrophs that is they are dependable on another animals for their so heterotrophs are the organism that are dependable on another animals for the food so all the animals are heterotrophs autotroph and heterotroph we learn here autotrophic animals or creature and heterotrophic organism or creatures all plants all plants are autotrophs all animals are heterotrophs plants are the only organism that can prepare food for themselves by using water carbon dioxide and minerals the raw materials are present in the surrounding as you can see the plant takes light energy from the sun carbon dioxide from the atmosphere water from the mineral water and mineral from the soil sugar and then releases and then prepare the sugar and oxygen is released through this photosynthesis process now in the next slide we are going to learn about the process of the photosynthesis the nutrients enable living organism to build their bodies that's why the minerals and nutrients are essential to grow to repair damaged parts of their bodies and provide the energy to carry out the life processes we can say the nutrition is the mode of taking food by the organism for its the development and the uh, processing of the body now let's start with the modes of the nutrition in the plants nutrition is the mode of taking food by the organism and its utilization by the body so nutrition is very important for the growth and development leaves are the food factories of the plants because on the leaves only the plants store the food material so leaves are the food factories of the plant even we we eat the many green leafy vegetables so they provide us the like spinach like fenugreek and like dill vegetable we are eating the vegetables in the form of their leaves only so leaves are the food factories water and minerals present in the soil are absorbed by the roots and transported to the leaves carbon dioxide from the air is taken in through tiny pores present on the leaves these pores are surrounded by the guard cells such as pores are called the stomata okay then here in this image you can see the chloroplast in the plant leaf what is the actual structure of the leaf of the plant see here each 
plant is made up of here the plant if you see under the microscope you can see the stomata the plant have the opening the spore like structure that opening is called as the stomata and the plant is it is of the green in color why because of presence of the uh, chloroplast pigment that makes the that makes the plant green so these are the inner membrane outer membrane thylakoid and then uh, stroma or stomata okay okay now there is a difference between the animal cell and plant cell as plant cell contain the chloroplast while the animal cell does not contains it that's why plant are special that can prepare their own food so plant make their own food with the help of the chloroplast pigment Coming to the next, now let's learn about the process of the photosynthesis. As the name itself suggests, that what is the mean, meaning of the photosynthesis? Actually, the photosynthesis is the process of the preparation of the food by the plants. Now, it's the process photo and synthesis. The name itself suggests that the photo means light and synthesis means to prepare or to make so in the presence of sunlight the green plants make their own food material that process is said to be the photosynthesis process that process is said to be the photosynthesis so what is the meaning of photosynthesis photosynthesis is nothing but the um, green plants make their own food material with the help of the with the help of the sunlight in the presence of the sunlight with the chloroplast pigment and then the exchange of the carbon dioxide and oxygen gases happens and the food is prepared here the chemical reaction happens as you can see in the presence of the carbon dioxide gas plus water with the sun energy and in the presence of chlorophyll pigment we the uh, the plants prepare the sugar like glucose c6 h12 o6 this is a sugar that's a glucose the plant prepare the food the food means that a sugar plus release of the oxygen gas plus the release of the oxygen gas take place which this oxygen gas is released into the atmosphere now we know that leaves of the various colors we see the ornamental basically the ornamental plants having different colors of the leaves like greenish yellowish or uh, yellow. green is the common color but yellow brown orange these are not the common colors in the plants generally we see the green leaves but there are some different types of the chloroplast pigment that makes the different color shade in the plants leaves now let's start with the other modes of the nutrition in the plants there are some plants which do not have the chlorophyll they cannot synthesize the food such plants are heterotropic they show or they use the heterotropic modes of the nutrition all the plants are not autotropic there are some plants which do not have the chlorophyll they cannot synthesize their food so they how then how they will survive and how will they make the food and how will they how they will find the nutrition like the humans and animals such plants are also depend on the another plants or another things like uh, for example here you can see the plants cascata or it is said as the amarbel or amarbel okay this is an amarbel in hindi marathi it is amarbel and then in english it is cascata plant it does not have the chlorophyll it takes the ready made food from the plant on which it is climbing it, like a, it's like a climber you know it's a amar well well means climber so wo ek lata hoti hai ek well hoti hai hai na so that is the plant which take the ready made food from the host plant aur jis pe wo survive karti hai that is a host plant this cascata is also called as a parasite because they are taking the nutrient from the other and they are like a parasite only they are sucking the other host plant so they are said to be the parasite the other type is a insectivorous plant many time you have seen in the discovery channel net geo channel hai na the insectivorous plant like peach plant what they do when an insect lands in the peach plant what they do what they do they will close this lid as you can see this is a peach plant yeah they do one uh, when an insect lands in the peach the lid closes and the insect trap inside gets gets trap inside here you can see how the insect trap the insect is digested by the digested juices secreted by the plant and its nutrients are absorbed such a insect eating plants are called as insectivorous plants it is possible that such plants do not get all the required nutrients from the soil which they grow that's why they are taking the extra nutrients from such type of uh, insects yes you can see again 
then next is the sapro saprotrophic nutrition saprophytes are organism that can that can't make their own food in order to survive they feed on the dead and decaying matter fungi and few species of the bacteria are saprophytes example saprophyte plants are here you can see the examples like mushroom are the saprophytes correct nowadays people start eating these mushrooms you might have seen packets of the mushrooms sold in the vegetable uh, market you may have also seen the fluffy umbrella like patches growing in the moist soil or on the rotting wood during the rainy season so this is said to be the mushroom saprophytic mushroom the next is the, uh, the these organism that you can see on the bread this experiment or activity you can do at home also uh, just bring the uh, ready made bread and keep it in just pack it in the uh, one of the container for 2 to 3 days you will see this greenish growth that is nothing but the fungi they have a different mode of the nutrition they absorb the nutrients from the bread this mode of nutrition in which the organism take in nutrients from the dead and decaying matter is said to be the saprotrophic nutrition such organisms with the saprotrophic mode of the nutrients are called as a saprotrophs yes what they will say at said as a sapro crops then next we are going to learn about now next we are going to learn about the symbiosis but before that how nutrients are replenished in the soil have you seen the farmers spreading manure or fertilizers in the field or the gardener using them in the lawns or in the pots do you know why this is done fertilizers are why they are used you learn that plant absorb the mineral and nutrient from the soil so their amounts in the soil keep on the declining but these fertilizers and manures contain the nutrients such as nitrogen potassium phosphorus and etc these nutrients or minerals need to be added from time to time to enrich the soil we can grow plants and keep them healthy if we can fulfill the nutrient requirement of the plants so that's why the fertilizers are added time to time to the soil usually the crop plant absorb a lot of nitrogen and the soil becomes deficient in the nitrogen you know that the nitrogen is the uh, nutrient the plant nutrient very essential plant nutrient is said to be the nitrogen nitrogen is very must for the growth of the plant then this symbiosis we are you can see the example we can see here the lichen whatever the greenish uh, spots on the rocks you can see it is nothing but the lichen some organism live together and share both the shelter and nutrients hai na koi koi organism jaise paying guest hote hai ek hi ghar mein do teen wo kya karte hai ek mein ke ek mein ke sath wo sharing karte hai kya karte hai shelter bhi aur khana peena bhi to ye kya hota hai symbiosis waise hi the animals uh, or the these plants are also sharing the nutrients and shelter with this this set this relation is said to be the symbiosis hai na some organism live together and share both the shelter and nutrient this relationship is called as a symbiosis for example certain uh, fungi live inside the roots of the plants the plants provide nutrients to the fungus and in return the fungus provide water and certain nutrients to the plant in organism called lichens a chlorophyll containing partner which is an algae and a fungus live together the fungus provide the shelter water and mineral to the algae and in return the alga prepares and provide the food to the fungus so this is example of the lichen where you can see the algae and fungus together they are living in a symbiotic conditions now you know that the plants need they need nitrogen in the soluble form the bacterium called the rhizobium where you can see the uh, nodes like structure the circular jo dikh rahe hai aapko chote chote golakar jo dikh rahe hai that is the rhizobium bacteria so that what happen this rhizobium bacteria can take the atmospheric nitrogen they can fix it and the process is said to be the nitrogen fixation and it convert a usable form jo nitrogen hota hai atmosphere ka ye jo bacteria hai rhizobium ye kya karte hai wo absorb kar lete hai aur usko usable form mein कन्वर्ट करते हैं सो इट ऑफन लिव इन द रूट ऑफ द ग्राम पीज मूंग बीन्स एंड अदर लेग्यूमिनस प्लांट एंड प्रोवाइड देम विद नाइट्रोजन अभी लेग्यूमिनस प्लांट मीन्स जो भी पॉड या बीन्स बनाते हैं वो सभी प्लांट्स को क्या कहते हैं हम लेग्यूमिनस प्लांट्स कहते हैं जो भी पॉड्स या तो बीन्स में होते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल मूंग बीन्स 
ग्राम्स है ना ये जो दाल्स होते हैं हमारे सब क्या किस में आते हैं लेग्यूमिनस प्लांट्स में आता है तो ये जो राइजो राइजोबियम बैक्टीरिया है वो लेग्यूमिनस प्लांट्स में ही पाया जाता है इन रिटर्न द प्लांट्स प्रोवाइड द फूड एंड शेल्टर टू द बैक्टीरिया उसके हिसाब से प्लांट्स ये जो बैक्टीरिया है वो भी सिम्बायोसिक करते हैं कि प्लांट्स जो राइजोबियम है वो नाइट्रोजन एब्सॉर्ब करेगा और उसके बदले में प्लांट्स उसको क्या करेगा फूड और शेल्टर देगा तो दिस इज अम्बायोसिस सिम्बायोटिक रिलेशनशिप दिस एसोसिएशन इज ऑफ द ग्रेट सिग्निफिकेंस फॉर द फार्मर्स हम फार्मर्स के लिए भी ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट होता है तो दे कैन रिड्यूस द यूज ऑफ द नाइट्रोजीनियस फर्टिलाइजर वेयर लेग्यूमिनस प्लांट्स आर ग्रोन सो मोस्ट ऑफ द पल्सिस आर ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द लेग्यूमिनस प्लांट्स ओनली सो इन दिस चैप्टर यू लर्न दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लांट्स आर ऑटोट्रॉप only a uh, few of the uh, plants are parasitic or sapro ट्रॉपिक सो दे डिराइव न्यूट्रिशन फ्रॉम अदर ऑर्गेनिजम ऑल द एनिमल्स आर कैटेगराइज एज अट्रोट्रॉप सिंस दे डिपेंड ऑन द प्लांट्स एंड अदर एनिमल्स फॉर द फूड सो कैन वी से दैट द इंसेक्टिव और प्लांट्स आर पार्शियल और हेट्रोट्रॉप्स सो थिंक अबाउट इट एंड जस्ट लेट मी नो ऑन द कमेंट और कमेंट बॉक्स यू जस्ट टेल मी वॉट इज द करेक्ट आंसर शुड बी देयर सो ऑल द कैन वी से द इंसेक्टिव और प्लांट्स आर पार्शियल हेट्रोट्रॉप्स येस टेल मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स एंड येस हियर वी आर एंडिंग विद द lesson number first of the class 7 series in the next video i will just i will take the lesson number 2 that is nutrition in the animals so students stay tuned with me up to that and uh, here you can just please like share comment subscribe this channel for the latest upcoming videos you you will get the notifications just like the videos if you like it and thanks for your uh, patience thanks for uh, listening Okay thank you student goodbye